Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino. We're looking at a beer. This beer was dropped off by Harry. Thank you very much, Harry. This is Maelstrom's Vienna Lager, and it is 5% alcohol by volume. Um, $4.99 for the can, so $5 for the can. Again, I brought this up in the last video. Uh, every other can of this, I thought it was just the, the premium for the bottle shop, and it might still have a bottle shop premium on it. But it does seem that craft beer costs more in Quebec than Ontario. Uh, I know craft beer costs more in Manitoba than Ontario by quite a bit. Uh, I just, I knew that the alcohol, uh, <laughs> what's the best, the, the taxes on alcohol in Quebec were not as high as in Ontario. So I did, I did contemplate that it would be slightly cheaper, but I guess I was wrong. Um, that one has a tiny, tiny bit of haze. Not much. I mean, it looks like there's more haze than there is because it is in the in the plastic cup. But a nice brassy color, bright white head. Looks good. Smell out of the can. It, it, out of the can, it's it's coppery. Sorry, guys. Out of the can, it is coppery. It is uh. It, it is bready and coppery. Out of the glass, a little bit of breadiness, a little bit of biscuitiness, a little bit of char, and that coppery note is still there. Slanche, let's try it. Hmm. That is not bad. Very easy drinking, a little bit of almost like a grapefruit a hot flavor right at the very back. Uh, bready, biscuity, char. The coppery is there. It's almost like you like bit your lip and you're sucking out some of that coppery iron blood. Um, that char is still there now. Like it's, it's right here in the back of the throat. It's mixing with that grapefruit flavor. Very easy drinking, very nice, very mellow. A little tiny touch of like a caramel flavor up at the forefront too. That is a very pretty beer. Um, so this is where it's hard. Would I pay $5 for a can of that? I don't know, um, but it is a solid beer. As a Vienna lager, it, it hits the right notes, I would probably say stylistically it is, is an 8 out of 10. Uh, would I pay for it though? Excuse me. I don't know. Um, you know what, I'll say I would. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, for myself personally, I think very good stylistic beer. I think very good beer in general. It's just a little pricey to want to drink on the all the time type of occasion. But to have one or two here and there, it works. So Maelstrom, uh, sorry, Maltstrom, 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 uh, Vienna Lager. Wow. Wow. I need some help.